Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making plantain porridge. But before we start this recipe, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever new videos are posted. This is a very healthy meal. Good for those watching their weight. Fit Farm, where are you? <laughs> and also for those who generally want to eat healthy. So 10 small unripe plantains were used. One smoked mackerel. I washed and deboned it properly. Seasoning cubed. I used the one that has two in one. So I just used one. Some salt. Uh, two cloves of garlic. Two fresh uh, scotch bonnet peppers. One tablespoon of crayfish. Unblended. And an onion. What I do is I put the onion, the crayfish, and the rest, all of this in this plate together and pound. The bell pepper, I just cut it up and keep aside to add later. I'm also going to use kale here. If you don't have kale, you can use any other rich vegetable that you can get your hands on. The idea is just to get vegetables into this. So let's get to cooking this. We start by preparing our plantains. We cut from the bun from the bunch. You cut the top, you cut the bottom, and run the vertical line through it to pry it open. You can op pry it open with either your hands or a knife. Plantains have a white sticky substance that turns brown when in contact with clothing or the skin. That stain, I know, well, I know that plantain stain is like permanent. It's difficult to come out. But one way of minimizing this is by doing it under a running tap or in a bowl of water. What I do is I put a bowl of water and I open this inside as in under water so that it will stop, it will reduce the oozing. Another way of minimizing the staining on your hands is also by rubbing vegetable oil on the knife and on your hands. After the plantains have been peeled, it's time to cut them up. The size you cut depends on you. I mean, I like my plantains small, so I like to cut them up in small bits. But one tip though is that you should scrape the back there like I scraped here. Just scrape it lightly and put it in the pot before cutting it up. That will help thicken your plantain porridge. That's one way of thickening it. So I just cut it up small bits. Careful with knife if you're not comfortable using it. You can use a chopping board for this, but I like using my hands. It's faster for me. You can see I'm showing you how I've gotten some stains from the plant. After cutting the plantains to my desired size, now add some water to the pot. Plantains oxidize very quickly, so it's always good to leave them in water, even though they'll just turn very brown for you. <laughs> in goes the pounded pepper mix and about two tablespoons of palm oil, seasoning cubes and salt. We'll just cover this and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're just going to stir this all up to incorporate all the ingredients. Make sure everything is properly mixed. This looks so good and it smells so nice. So at this point, I'm going to put in my smoked mackerel. I washed it properly and deboned it properly. You want to debone properly, especially when you have little kids eating this food so that they don't get, you know, pricked by bones. I can see that the water is not as much as I want it, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little more water to this. The plantain is almost ready, so at this point you want to just stir and taste for seasoning. Taste to make sure the salt and everything is to your liking. If it's not, you can correct this now because it's almost ready. We are going to keep it down soon. This smells delicious. It's almost ready, so I put in my vegetable. The vegetable I'm using here is kale. But you can put whatever you want. Our meal is ready, so I'm just going to stir this one more time and turn down the heat. You can see that the fish 
can barely be seen. That's how I like this particular meal. Now to my favorite part. Time to eat. <laughs> Please, if you don't subscribe to my channel, subscribe for more recipes like this. And any questions you have, I'll answer them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.